I definitely am not a carpenter. I knew nothing about it. Earlier this year, I took a week off and really laid everything out and worked on it for seven days straight. Phase three and beyond have not yet been uploaded to my channel and I am so excited to share them with you guys. What is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot second since I've uploaded anything and I have a few pretty sad excuses for that. Number one, I've actually been pretty busy this summer. And when that happens, I tend to forget about my social medias and neglect them. And I take full responsibility for that. But thankfully, I've been kind of developing a more consistent schedule here recently. And I feel like I have more time to upload stuff for you guys. Number two, I really didn't have a phone to upload content for you guys. Um, <laughs> this is definitely my own fault. I didn't have a phone case nor did I have a screen protector for the longest time. And I absolutely jacked up uh, both my front and back cameras so I could not record any videos. But now I have a brand new iPhone, brand new screen protector and brand new case. And I plan on uploading a lot more nice quality videos. That being said, I am not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna cut right to the chase. You guys have been waiting for an update and I'm gonna give it to you. Um, I have several different phases listed down here for you guys. So phase one and phase two are both on my YouTube channel. Phase one being the trailer. Uh, that was when I went up to Columbus and I bought a trailer off of Facebook Marketplace, drug it back to the woodworking shop here at my parents' house and stripped down, painted it and got it ready for the subfloor. Subfloor was pretty basic and straightforward. Uh, just a bunch of framing, plywood insulation and flashing. And I think it looks pretty good. Phase three and beyond have not yet been uploaded to my channel. And I am so excited to share them with you guys. All right, so we're gonna start with phase three here. And this is the framing of my tiny house. There was so much learning to all of this. I definitely am not a carpenter. I knew nothing about it. But with a lot of patience and a lot of help from my brother, who is a carpenter, and my dad, who has been tremendously helpful, by the way, I have framed in my tiny house. And it's looking phenomenal so i guess we can start up here at the front have my living room area um this is where my futon is gonna be and it's gonna be nice and spacious there's my sliding glass door looks pretty good and then right over here i'm gonna have my kitchen all right i'm gonna address my closets here first one is gonna be my pantry i'm gonna store my food in there and i also have my electric box panel thing as well and that's obviously the main source of my electric. So that closet is pretty dope. And then I also have my clothes closet as well. I plan on having a dirty laundry basket down here at the bottom. Hanging clothes at the top, shelves in between, but we'll get to that when we get to that. And then my last closet here, and this is probably, oop, gotta move my Stanley. This last closet here, I'm pretty proud of. Um, it's gonna be my laundry room. I have a washer and dryer combo here. It's gonna be down at the bottom. And the up top here, I have my tankless hot water tank, um, which took a lot of research, a lot of time, but I plumbed all that, installed it, and it looks pretty awesome, if I say so myself. All right, really quickly, I'm gonna run over phase four, which is the windows and sliding glass door. So a lot of these windows I actually found at Habitat for Humanity and they were super cheap. I love them. Um, I did invest though in a brand new sliding glass door. Um, I'm going to use it a lot and I needed something pretty trustworthy. Um, but yeah, my entire living room here is from Habitat for Humanity. Um, two really nice little windows here with the screens. I got these. I also got this uh, skinny window here as well that also has a screen. Um, I kind of thought it fit perfectly on this wall. So I also have two windows for my kitchen area. Finally, I have the windows here in my bathroom. I kind of have these two little skinny windows here for some ventilation. And then this is kind of unusual, but I still kind of like it. I have a window right above um, what's going to be my bathroom vanity. It's kind of different, um, but I wanted lots of light in here and not for it to feel super dark and crammed. So love my bathroom windows. 
Alrighty, phase five is the plumbing here. And I am so grateful for my grandpa Mike who has done plumbing in his past and knows the terminology because I definitely don't. Um, earlier this year, I took a week off and really laid everything out and worked on it for seven days straight and got it completely plumbed. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. And starting with the kitchen sink here, I have cold and hot water uh, with my PEX, and I also have a PVC drain here. Um, this is where my kitchen sink is gonna be, right above this window. Kind of like the placement of it. I also have a little pressure gauge here, kind of in a weird spot, but it kind of worked best for me. So back to my laundry room here, I have my washer and dryer hookup here. Um, obviously got the cold and hot and the drain right there in the middle. And then I have some PEX piping coming up from the main uh, run of it down there on the subfloor. And I have that attached to my tankless hot water heater, um, which was super easy to install. I hope it does well. Um, it's kind of higher than usual. I'm sure I'll have some comments saying I placed it too high, but it just worked best for me. And I have it vented outside of the tiny house. Alrighty, for phase six, I have the bathroom subfloor. Now, the bathroom subfloor is elevated, actually. I think it's about 10 and a half, 11 inches. And that is because I have PEX and PVC plumbing running underneath it. In a lot of colder states, um, people face issues with their plumbing freezing up and causing issues. So... My plumbing is actually underneath this subfloor. As you can see, my PVC pipe runs out to that corner and leaves the tiny house. And I have my PEX along the wall as well. And once again, I live in Ohio, so it gets pretty cold up here. And I just really wanna prevent my plumbing from freezing. So I have it up above the subfloor which is insulated by the way. There's tons of insulation underneath here. And I think that would keep it super warm. And plus, I also have some additional storage underneath my subfloor. I plan on having a step right about here, a step up into the bathroom, and I can also slide some additional storage underneath there. So bathroom, subfloor. Alrighty, for phase seven, I have the electric. And there's really not a whole lot to say when it comes to the electric, it was super simple. Me and my dad basically did it in one day. Um, my dad thankfully has experience running electric in the past, so really didn't take as much time at all. I have my electric box here, which is obviously my main source of power. And uh, we have all kinds of stuff running throughout the tiny house. Um, there's a couple little things to think about, like some of the larger um, appliances I'm gonna have in here, like my hot water tank, my washer and dryer and oven. But other than that, it was pretty straightforward and the wiring is in and ready to go. Alrighty guys, and that is it. That is my tiny house update for you guys. I know it was super fast, super short, but I hope it answered some questions for you and gave you a little update on what I've been up to and the progress I've made. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.